So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. It can't do anything without a new diamond. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. World's greatest mad scientist. He looks worried. Hey, Dr. Fred! We have to do something! What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons! A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science! How about catching Purple Tentacle? He's long gone! Probably taking over the world as we speak! Soon we'll all be speaking... well, English, I guess. What if we unpollute the river? I could just shut off my sludgeomatic machine, but it's too late! You have a machine whose sole function is producing toxic waste? You can't have a high-tech laboratory like this and not spew poisonous filth! All the other mad scientists would laugh! I guess I'll have to go save the world myself, then. Good luck! This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Now there's a heavy sleeper. A him. Are you interested in particle physics? Well, never mind. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. There's a whole lot of keys on here. It's pretty darn cold. Mmm. 
Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The stooped shoulders and long face? I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. What did you say your job was again? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Uh, never mind. I can't see it very well from here. When you pull the trigger, a humorous flag is propelled out of the barrel on a stick and unfurls. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Wanna help me save the world? 
I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Hoagie would really love these. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Powerful looking speaker. Wow! This is loud! Whew! There's no label, it's probably blank. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Does it have anything to do with a hamster? All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots, and now I have a cute brown one with no spots. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them, How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Boy, she looks even worse than she did five years ago. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I know it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. 
really? How nice. How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the safe. I'd find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. Well, enough about Dr. Fred. Shall we talk about me? <laughs> this is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual-tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> I can't use a videotape with that. It's not exactly the Ritz. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. It's already open. Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. It's locked. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. It's a primitive but useful venting device which prevents injury due to harmful smoke inhalation. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. I can't. Uzo's intimidating. I hate that clown. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. I'm not touching it. 
These models have a history of leakage. Actually, I'd call this more of a threak. Hmm, brown water. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. My, what a big coffee maker. It's already perking away. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. It looks pretty broken. Who knows what surprises await inside? It's a fine funnel. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time. Has anyone ever told you you look like Dante Alighieri? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles de Gaulle. So, oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. Disgusting. I don't even want to touch that gunk. Conditioning, I guess. I think it's fake. Help wanted, lab assistant. Hardworking drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. It's on the other side of the window. He looks like a tall, mummified Dr. Fred. 
I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. It's closed. He looks like he's in a hurry. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Drat. It must be one of these. It's really dirty. It's not my car. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh? Uh-huh. How about that? It must be one of these. Drat. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Keep out. Area contaminated with industrial waste. Reminds me of the last time I had the flu. It's stuck to the floor. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. I have three just like it at home. Always make sure they get your good side. That kind is too bulky to carry around all day. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. The safe is closed. I don't know the combination. Spearmint, my favorite.
Excuse me, mister. Mr. Electricity? That would be me. Oh, speaking of mad science. And a great day it is for it, too. How exactly are you going to do that power luring? Using one of my newest inventions. I like to call it the Francocopter. That's a kite, Ben. They've been around for thousands of years. Oh, sure, as toys. But this one is a letter to the gods. It says... Dear Thor, just one drop of your mighty juice in the hands of a genius like me could illuminate the entire world. Love, Ben. I hope you wrote it in Swedish so Thor can read it. Or were those guys Norwegian? I was speaking figuratively. What actually is happening is that I'm waiting for lightning to strike my kite. And then what? And then the electricity charges the kite. And then what? Then the electricity travels down the string. And then what? It charges me, of course. And then what? I glow with its almighty power. And then what? I use its power to make the world a better place. And then what? The world kneels before me, asking me to guide it with my mighty benevolence. And then what? I have all annoying pests like you locked up. And then what? Shot. Oh, I see. Isn't it too sunny for lightning? Shh! I know that! I'm just trying to keep my grant going until we get a storm. Aren't you missing a key or something? The key to discovery is daring intellect, my boy. Daring intellect and rigorous science. No, I mean a real key key. You mean the where the heck did I put my keys kind of key? Yeah. That's a manual device. It needs no power. Seriously, man, what are you thinking? Well, I'm going to back away now, just in case. Carry on. Dum-de-dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Get me down from here!
Excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well? I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs>